One time, when I was out hitting batting practice with my mom, we decided that I would play softball at Yale if I hit a ball to the tree beyond the field. We celebrated when I achieved the victory. Spoiler alert, I was not recruited to play softball at Yale. For over 10 years, softball dominated my life. I was a late bloomer. I still played house or rec league when others were moving to travel teams. I began working with a pitching coach after other players my age were already paying several private instructors to be the best. I wanted to be the best more than anything else. I put in countless hours outside of practice to strengthen my pitching, hitting, and fielding skills. I watched footage of myself in action and overanalyzed every single last detail. I failed several times along the way. I didn't make certain travel teams, I didn't go up to varsity until my junior year of high school, and I didn't get accepted into my top two colleges. However, nothing could have prepared me for the greatest challenge that I faced as a sophomore in college. After attending countless recruitment camps and contacting as many coaches as possible, I was recruited to play softball at Kenyon College. I didn't question it. Playing in college seemed like the natural next step. My parents wanted me to have structure when entering a new environment, and I wanted a leg up when applying to schools with ridiculously low acceptance rates. Entering my first year at Kenyon on the softball team, everything seemed perfect. I would balance my time between studying film and playing. Unfortunately, reality proved much more challenging than I had anticipated. I quickly realized that I couldn't give myself completely to film while practicing six days out of the week. Continuing to major in something as time-consuming as film while playing a varsity sport felt impossible. In September of 2018, my life changed unexpectedly. Upon returning to Kenyon for my second year, I parted ways with softball. I felt as though I had lost a piece of myself. Re-examining life at Kenyon without softball was an uphill battle that I could not win. Not being a student athlete anymore brought anger, jealousy, shame, and sadness. I was angry that I could not handle both the academic and athletic responsibilities. I was jealous of my former teammates who, in my eyes, had succeeded when I had failed. I was ashamed to tell those close to me who were rooting for my success. I was sad to let go of something I had loved that influenced my life for over a decade. This change sent me into a downward spiral. I went home for two weeks to receive support from my family. I wasn't initially sure if I wanted to go back to Kenyon. However, I remembered that, above all else, I started college to earn a degree. I also focused on the freedom I would have as a regular student. I could devote myself entirely to film without the pressure of a demanding sport. The recovery process took several months, though. When I initially returned to Kenyon, I spent the entire weekend in bed. I convinced myself that a spotlight would shine on me as soon as I went to the dining hall. Everyone would judge me for leaving the softball team. That obviously wasn't the case. I learned that people didn't pay nearly as much attention to me as I thought they would. I found others who had also stopped playing a sport. Each time that I forced myself to get out of bed and walk outside, it felt easier. The towering mountain in front of me seemed smaller and smaller. Life at Kenyon as a non-student athlete felt more and more like an actual possibility. Parting ways with softball allowed me to pursue other hobbies and interests. I could attend film club meetings and join crews for student projects. Additionally, I realized that I was burned out by the end. I kept pushing through because I had to stick to the plan. I didn't allow myself to consider life beyond softball, which shaped up to be very freeing. Although I couldn't be around softball at first, I now watch my little sister play and support her achievements. Even though it seemed virtually impossible in the moment, I let go and made peace with that chapter of my life closing.